Let's take a look at the polygon generator, which lets us define the number of sides that make up the polygon. Remember that by pressing the Control or Command key, the center of the polygon will be defined according to the mouse cursor, and its position parameter can be reset. Now let's take a look at its parameters. First off, there's an offset value common to all of these generators. Here the radius, unlike the ellipse, can only be set to single mode. Then comes the rotation value, followed by the number of edges value, which determines the number of sides of the polygon. There's no limit to how close you can get to a perfect circle. Bear in mind though that this generator will create points connected by segments, so each of these points will create a more or less sharp angle. Also know that here the number of sides can only be an integer and not a number with a decimal point, like with the polygon image generator. Remember that intermediate values can be defined in the image generator, which lets you go seamlessly from one type of polygon to another. But this image generator doesn't generate vector paths as output. This is the major difference between the two. The polygon generator described here can only be used with a shapes generator. In this video, we went over how to use the polygon vector generator while modifying its parameters, in particular its number of sides.